All right, there were three concepts I'm going to try to capture here over the weekend that I realized. First of them is um, you made a pivot table here, and you want to reanalyze, and you want to go back and see how the original pivot table looks like. So up here, you have pivot table analyze tab. You go there, and then you go to the field list. That brings you back to pivot table builder, and you can work from there. So that was the first thing. The second thing, let's see we have these two columns right now and we want to make sure we want to convert them from the columns like this over to the rows. So we want to transpose them. The easy way to transpose them is pretty much copy this information here and when you're pasting, go to file, actually edit paste special and right here there is this transpose button. So just to make sure I'm not creating anything else, I'm going to click it as value, click transpose, and voila. So what we had as two columns is not converted into a row there. So that was the second thing, how to transpose. The third thing is, let's say you want to make a bar diagram, and your font it is a numerical data, and this is numerical data. So out of the box, if you go ahead and try to insert a bar diagram, it's going to make those years number come up as other values in the bar diagram. So how to take that off and instead use these year numbers as the variables on the horizontal axis or x axis. Um, so the way around is you go ahead, let's just make it bigger so we can see everything in detail. You highlight one of the bar diagrams, you go right click and say select data. In the select data we do not want to include year founded but we only want to include percentage graduated. So let's go ahead and remove it. When you click OK, so here it is. So all we have is um, the percentage graduate data. But we don't have any data down here which tells what years were founded. So in order to get them back again, you again go to the same place, right click, select data. And here down in the horizontal axis variable, you're going to highlight that and you're going to select the values that you want there. Go back again and you click OK. There you go. So we got you the years and percentage graduate both showing up in the same place.